What's good, everybody, and welcome back to Having a Beer at Bams. Today, we're going to be drinking white chocolate. It is a bourbon barrel-aged wheat wine ale with cocoa nibs and vanilla beans coming to us from the brewery. This bastard's coming in about 14%. This one's been sitting in the fridge for about a week now. I've been uh, looking forward to this one, so let's crack this on, bitch, open. I uh, picked this up over at Wine Dads in Hoboken. Uh, recommendation by... I get, you know what, I got to start asking these people what their names are, because I, I don't, and I should. But he's a very helpful guy. Um, he recommended this and uh, another beer, which should be on soon, maybe the next episode, ep episode after that, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, uh, he recommended this. Uh, Wine Dads, they always have a good selection over there. They don't have a big single selection. They do have a lot of bottles, like big bottles, you know, the 720 milliliters, plus smaller stuff. Um, mainly, it's and it's also gonna, it's always gonna be stuff that's gonna be like, you know, 10, 12, even 13 percent, like a higher. Um, but they have a good selection of four packs down there. Um, they have like a kind of like, um, I guess it would be like uh, Thirsty Quaker. It's a very cultivated selection, and the guys know what they're talking about. You ask the people down at the Wine Dads, especially the one dude. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name. Dude has a beard, long hair. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, uh, the guy's very knowledgeable. Like, you ask him, he knows. He's pretty much probably tasted every beer inside the store. So I, if he gives you a recommendation, I, I suggest you go with it. Just let him know what you're looking for or what you like, and he'll point you in the right direction. All right, well, cheers, you silly. I'm sorry, I, I had to stop that. Oh, this is a really ridiculous color. It's like a hazy orange color. That's insane. Well, cheers, you silly bastards. It really wasn't, I mean, this is not what I was expecting. Smells good. Hmm. Odd. It tastes like wine. I'm not a big fan of wine, um, but it also tastes like you can taste like well, you can taste white chocolate, but it ta it does taste like candy, like um, hard candy. That not hard candy, like uh, ah, damn, it, I don't know how to explain it. Well, I guess I'm not gonna be able to explain this one, but it's good. Um, it's strong. You can you could taste the the alcohol on the back end. You can that little bite. You feel it in the back end. But um, wow, this is really good. If you can find it, pick it up. You got yes. Yeah, so, um, I know somebody who watches this. They'll enjoy this. So uh, pick it up. It's a it's a good beer. I recommend this one. Um, yeah, I don't. I can't remember. I can't. I can't remember how much it was, but it was a single. So it because uh, I guess because it's a higher alcohol content. But um, yeah. So pick it up. If you can find it, pick it up. It's actually really good. This is a really tasty brew. I'm going to enjoy this one. I'm going to enjoy this one with a cigar. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, excuse me again. Sorry. But yeah, wow, this is really good. All right, well, I'm going to have to conclude this episode of Beer Brands because I want to go and enjoy this beer. Remember, all beer is good beer. Cheers. <laughs>